Hello, so this is our second video for direct editing. In this video, we're working on the exercise delete and replace face. So make sure you start off by copying this document. I already did that, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So first we need to select our delete face tool. Located here, delete face. And now we open up our create selection menu. So here it is. In this case, we want to make sure that we are choosing protrusion, we're on the faces, and then we select the face we want, which is this one here. I'm going to go ahead and click right there. And then I just add my selection. For the next one, we're selecting um, three faces here. So let's go ahead and switch our view to check out the left side. So I can actually exit out of this, as mentioned here. Go ahead and click my first face, the top portion, and this side piece or corner. And I go ahead and click the check mark. Notice we get rid of those two features. So for step four, we went ahead and selected this feature here for step five. We are now going to replace a face. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Replace face. We're being asked to select this flat piece down here. So face to replace. I'm going to move this a little bit. And I select this flat piece right here. For step seven, we are showing the surface here. So we're opening up this drop down menu, show surface one. Notice it is a curved face right there. And now for step eight, and surface to replace with, we select surface one, but we have to click on the shown surface. We cannot just select this. And then we just hit the check mark. We get rid of our surface. And notice we now have a curved face. So I'm gonna go back goes flat, and now it's curved. So for step eight, we are going to, or step nine, we're showing our surface again, but this time our surface number two, and we're going to actually flatten this section back here. So now let's go ahead and click on replace face one more time. Faces to replace, we're clicking on this one, and surface to replace with, let's go ahead and select that, and we're checking off this curve right here. And then we just hit the check mark. Let's go ahead and hide that. Notice now we've just curved this. This looks like a nice mold. And step 11 is where we actually selected our face or our surface to replace with. So we did that already. Now for step 12, we are going to use the Shift X key to access our section view. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift, click X, and I open up this section menu right here. If you're having trouble seeing this, make sure you open up this drop down menu and you can access the section view here. I can turn it off, I can turn it back on. So once again, the shortcut is, sec is shift X. So I'm going to select the planes that I want to um, visualize. So I'm going to hit top, front, and right. So notice what I can do here. So I can allow us to view this. And we can work with this here. Let's finish visualizing that. So now that these sections, these planes are selected, we can actually view our mold in various layers. And we can see that it is hollow from the inside, and this is looking pretty good. Thank you.